we observe that in the numerator we have two terms e raised to 5 log x and e raised to 4 log x so we can write the first term e raised to 5 log x as e raised to 4 log x plus log x similarly in the denominator the first term e raised to 3 log x can be written as e raised to 2 log x plus log x now using properties of exponent we can write the first term in numerator as e raised to 4 log x multiplied by e raised to log x. Similarly, in the denominator, we can write the first term as e raised to 2 log x multiplied by e raised to log x. Now, in the numerator, we can take e raised to 4 log x common and in the denominator, we can take e raised to 2 log x common, giving us e raised to 4 log x multiplied by e raised to log x minus 1 in the numerator and e raised to 2 log x multiply by e raised to log x minus 1 in the denominator. e raised to log x minus 1 being common in both numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. And for the remaining terms we can apply again properties of exponent giving us e raised to 2 log x dx. Now 2 is a constant which is outside the logarithm so we can take it inside and it will become a power giving us e raised to log of x square. Now we know that e raised to log of any function is equal to that function. So this will become x square and we know that integration of x square is equal to 1 over 3 x cube plus c. 